Hi everybody, welcome back for another video. Today I'm not gonna talk about less lethal. Uh, I wanna talk about something at a higher level. Uh, I wanna talk about self-defense and, and firearms. Uh, there, there is definitely a, a push right now in our country as there is on these cycles every so many years, uh, every so many shootings, mass shootings, et cetera. And, and the, the language starts to go toward uh, gun rights, gun control, and all of these issues. And, the, and these are fundamental issues that uh, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about the fundamental rights and the, and the amendments and, and all of that. I want to talk at a, at a very basic level, and that is the level of what, what, what are the, what, why does your average American need a gun, and what's, what's the rationale? And, 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 and for that matter, why does a police officer need a gun? So you think about it. Uh, the people that need guns are people that are routinely in hazardous situations or dealing with people who are unstable, who are a threat. Um, police officers, for their job, they have to carry a gun on their hip because they're encountering people every day who are criminals or who are potential criminals who are antagonistic, who they may have to have a conflict with. And they, the only reason that a police officer needs a gun is self-defense. They, they, they are charged with the task of protecting and serving the community. They will interact with people on a regular basis. Some of those people are unfriendly or have, you know, have been trained from a very young childhood to think that the police officer is after them, when in fact the police are simply after law enforcement. That is the definition of the job. And so they need a weapon with stopping power. They, they're they not gonna go with something that is less than capable. That's why the nine millimeter handgun is so popular with police. And that's why they wanna go with uh, the best that they can use uh, in a given situation. That's just common sense. And, and your average person who wants to protect themselves should also have the same standard. The reason why we would want to do that is, is for self-defense. Uh, there is a, no situation where we would be going out with an intention of using our weapon. In fact, it, it is a very last resort. And so I think that's just what some people don't understand when they talk about reducing the caliber or reducing the number of rounds and all of these things which make a tool less effective tool. Why would you want to use a less effective tool to defend your life against someone who is out to kill you? Because by definition, when you use it, you are, you are using it in self-defense. Same thing for police, same thing for civilians. That's all it is for. And I think anyone that wants to conflate the, the argument and and make it sound like you you should have you should you should feel guilty for using as much force as you need to protect your life. Life. Why would you why would you feel bad about doing that? Uh, if someone is is truly a threat and you have to use it, I think you should be able to use the most effective force. I wanted to to say that there is a lot of talk and a lot of chatter, and and I, I really don't agree with the opinion that that we should be downsizing our guns, downsizing our magazines, uh, using smaller calibers, uh, simply because that's what someone, you know, who's well protected by their own security. And, um, and so I just don't think it's, it's fair to the common everyday person who's going out and, and has to transition through these very unsafe spaces. Uh, we don't have to do it as much as the police. And the police We've got to stand behind these guys because they are out there. They are doing it for us. They are going into harm's way and into areas of high crime. We may stay away from those. We know where to avoid. We live our life uh, the way we do. Or we, we might have the, the unfortunate uh, situation where we, we live or work in a very unsafe environment and we feel we need to protect ourselves. You know, I, my dad was a police officer. Uh, he did that. He, he was a public servant. He, he was a teacher. He was a police officer. He worked for the city government. He was very much a servant of the people throughout his whole life. And, and I, I fully always have appreciated the police and what they do. I had a chance to, you know, be around them. I was around 
them with firearms and, and it was not uh, anything that was a concern. These are, these are good people who do this for good reasons. And the police get to keep theirs, that's great, that's what we want. But the civilians, you, you cannot deprive civilians of their right to protect themselves. Um, we, we are our own protection uh, in times when the police can't be there. And there are, there are times when the police can't get there fast enough and we have to protect ourselves. And we should have the right to protect ourselves in our home, in our car, um, on our property uh, with the highest power weapon that we can use, whatever that is. And, and I think that's just as simple as I can say it. Give me your comments and discuss below. I'm, I'm open for discussion and I'm happy to talk anytime about uh, self-protection and self-defense. And um, everybody just be, be safe, take care. We'll see you in the next one.